This is the 2025 Tesla Model Y. And today I'm gonna to be testing out Auto Shift Beta because with Hardware 4, supposedly it's a game changer. And the thing that I've always found annoying in Teslas, like the new Model 3, and now this, is that slide up and down the screen because the, the gear shift has gone, the stick is gone, and I need to get over it. But is it as good as they say it is? Find out in this mini test. Okay, we'll come to a car park and we're gonna do three things here. We're gonna do with me sliding and controlling it. Second time, letting the car do as much as possible. And then third time, we'll do an auto park. So yeah, let's get started, yeah? All right. Okay, so I see a parking spot that I'd like to get into. Indicate. Let's pretend the situation is I need to reverse into this spot there because people who park, park by reversing. Okay, so I'm doing the reverse. Terrible approach. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing, but I'll correct my mistake. Heaps of space to do this. Awesome, and then tap. Okay, uh, interestingly that the visualization on the screen was saying stop when I actually had plenty of time or more space to go back. Um, so yeah, I mean look, most cars with um, sensors wouldn't have had an issue with that, whereas this actually thinks you should stop and that's because of Tesla Vision. All right, second demo. The car's now gonna do automatic prompting, okay? So automatic selection of dry select rather. And straight away I press the brake and it says, you wanna go forwards? So it's like, yes I do. And away I go. Okay, now we're gonna use the auto shift beta. I know the limitation of this system already. And with auto shift beta, it needs definition of cars either side to know that, oh, you actually wanna do like a three point. Uh, parking situation uh, and that's if you're lucky and I guarantee you let me get into this area here where there's lots of cars other side let me indicate and I'm gonna put the brake on and nothing the slider doesn't suggest to go backwards to reverse no I need to actually now take my hand off the wheel and slide the thing back and now I can start parking this car but why bother it's it's it, oh, okay all right I'll play I'll play let's do it so I'm gonna park, I've gotta tell you, I'm so paranoid. Again, still didn't come up with the option. I still gotta choose it myself. All right, coming up, I would probably stop about there. Whoa, fascinating. The bumper camera is suggestive, like literally um, on the back of the line, like the car is literally like that. But weirdly, the Tesla Vision thinks that it's okay still. No, it's not. <laughs> it's so not okay. Okay, I have finished reversing. It still doesn't want to go into park, even though I've actually finished parking. Auto shift beta, fail, <laughs> one. Okay, all right. I think I'm being fair to this. I, I, it's not mature yet, it is not there. I can see this promise. It's got potential, but it's not there yet. So let's now do um, Tesla Vision parking. Now this, this is way improved on what it used to be. I criticized in the past of being like pretty terrible. And on the screen, you can see there's actually a lot of di different choices as to where I can park. So if I want to go park over there, fine. I can go park over there, I want to park there, you get the idea. All right, let's go for this spot because that's the one I did before. So what I'll do now is I've selected it. I've got my foot off the brake, foot off this accelerator, hands off the steering wheel. It's indicating itself and now it's going to do everything. And this is so much faster than it used to be and it's pretty confident. And there, was a, if there was a car there right now of, no, 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 okay. Take that back. A lot, of, a lot of unnecessary movements. I've done this several times already and actually we'll go in and out two, three or four times sometimes to get it really centered. And it's, uh, 
it's come to a stop too soon. I think my nose is definitely out. Um, but that's fine. I'll put my foot in the uh, brake. It's suggesting to go forward with the auto shift meter. I'll just slide it back and I'll park it where I would actually like it. And I now have to press tap. Awesome. Auto shift meter, like I've just demonstrated in some situations, will not work. But others like this, where you've got a lot of cars around, the car's going to understand you actually want to be doing a three point turn, say. So let's demonstrate that. I'm in a park situation, I put my foot in the brake and straight away it says, hey, you want to go forwards? I'm like, yes, I do. Thank you very much. So let's go forwards and uh, let's um, find somewhere to park. So lots of cars either side. Good. I want to go there. So I'm going to bring the car around. I'll, I'll do a good park this time, yeah? All right, cool. And I'm going to hit that. I still got to slide it. All right, I'm going to get this in one go. I'm trying not to do that. Let me do this. You turn the wheel the other way and the car's like, ah, oh, you're doing a three point turn, are you? See, see how magical that is? Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Um, still a bit anxious about Tesla vision and no ultrasonic sensors. I'm happy with that. I will stop there. Awesome. But now go into park because I'm done parking. It doesn't want to do that. Of course it doesn't. So now you got to tap. Now I do know there are some gurus out there who are very quick to be able to slide the hand on and off and do this action. Yeah. You can also press up here and do different actions up here too. So that's awesome. But can't you just have a stick? Maybe can't we have both? Not the screen, stuff the screen. I want this auto shift beta with a stick, not the dumb screen. Just saying, because that mm, it's just no good. Just no good. All right. I hope this has been helpful. And yes, I can understand what the hype is about. But you know what? The screen implementation of shifting your car to go forwards or reverse is just that. It's kind of a gimmick. I don't see what is wrong with having either a stick select like Tesla historically has had or even a dial down here, but there's no space down here. So let's just go back to that. That way your hands are on the wheel, ready to go. And you just, you can just, you're still engaging with the steering wheel and you can flick it. Very easy. This, you've got to take your hand off and you do the Tesla screen hold. That's where you, you anchor yourself. You, you grab somewhere behind the screen so you can actually do what you need to do. Um, it, it, just, it just feels like a lot of unnecessary work. It really does. Okay, with that, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe. Super thanks is more than welcome. If you want to see early access, check out Kofi for behind the scenes. And uh, if you like, YouTube thinks that you would like to see one of these videos now that's on your screen. So maybe check that out. Um, the uh, algorithm is never wrong. Never wrong. <laughs> yes, it is. Anyway, again, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.